Hi everybody, in this lesson we will learn about components and props in React. In React, a component is a fundamental building block for constructing user interfaces. Components are reusable, self-contained pieces of code that describe a part of the UI and how it should behave. Each component can manage its own state and receive inputs, called props. React components can be categorized into two types, functional components and class components. Functional components are defined as JavaScript functions that take props as an argument and return React elements. Class components are not used much anymore for new projects. You could see them in some legacy code. We will work only with functional components. I opened my Visual Studio code and uh, as you can see we have uh, here a code from our previous lesson and uh, here is an uh, app component, functional component, and uh, it uh, returns a uh, JSX or to-do list. And uh, now I'm going to create a functional component for my to-do list. First of all, I need to create some folder inside my SRC and uh, I'll create folder components. components. And uh, I need two files, one for to-do a list JSX. Uh, I'll place my functional component and JSX here. And uh, the second file will be to do list CSS for my styles. And uh, I can create function function to do list. And I will return some JSX return. And uh, I'm just, I will just copy paste the code from my app and I'll paste it here. And uh, now we can add export for our functional component. We can use default export, export default and to do list. And now we can import our component in our app JSX file using import to-do list and uh, now we can just add our component to our code it will be just like tag and will self-close and uh, let's check what we have so you can see we have our to-do list and uh, also i need to move the styles because uh, currently we have our styles for our to-do list in our app CSS and uh, I'm going to just place them inside my to-do list CSS okay and uh, as you can see uh, we used default import here and uh, here we can just uh, add some new name to do not list to do tasks and uh, use this component here. And let's check. As you can see, we have our to-do list, but we don't have our styles. And uh, that's uh, because I forgot to import them in my to-do list JSX. And uh, let's do it. Import from my root to-do list CSS. And let's check again. Okay, the styles are here. And uh, we used a default export and uh, we can change the name here. And we used a default export here, but uh, we can use named export. And uh, I just can write export function, uh, but uh, that will not work in our app JSX. Let's take a look. And uh, as you can see, uh, we don't have anything. And uh, we need to provide uh, exactly the same name and use curly braces. And uh, now it should work. And I'm going to change it here and refresh the page. And uh, as you can see, we have our JSX. And uh, what is the difference between this export? Exports uh, named uh, export uh, is used when we have several components or functions, constants. I'll show you export function and let it be welcome. 
Welcome and uh, the function will return some JSX return h1 tag and like welcome welcome John and uh, so we can import uh, this function functional component inside our app JSX and uh, add it to our app and uh, we need a React fragment here uh, because uh, we are going to use two element elements and also component will be welcome welcome and close and now let's check as you can see we have our welcome john and our to-do list component and you can combine components inside other code and make your ui Let's talk about props in React. In React, props, props for properties, are read-only attributes that are used to pass data from parent components to child components. They are a fundamental part of React's component architecture, allowing for the creation of dynamic and reusable components. What are the key features of props? Props are immutable, meaning that they cannot be changed by the component that receives them. Props enable one-way data flow from parent to child. And uh, props allow components to be customized and reused uh, with different inputs. Let's go to the code. In functional components, props are passed as an argument to the function. Let's add some props for our welcome component. And, uh, we can add name and just provide some name like John and now we can modify our welcome component and uh, use our props object and from that object we can use curly braces and we'll have props name let's check as you can see, we have our name here. And uh, let's add some props to our to-do list. Uh, I can add some I don't know, title and uh, use our h2 text as prop. And uh, also we can add, for example, some task like next JS. And, uh, let's use them inside our component we can use props and uh, inside props we'll have our title and uh, so we can add one more task just using our props and props task and let's check as you can see we have our to the list and uh, our new task now i want to show you the structure in props uh, this technique uh, is commonly used uh, in projects and uh, we can use object destructuring and just write name and uh, remove this props and uh, i will do the same for our to-do list i'll use only title and task and uh, i can remove this props and here and uh, let's check what we have and uh, as you can see nothing was changed on the ui and uh, that's all what i have if uh, you like the video subscribe to my devapub channel thank you for watching goodbye